reconnaissance force relieved. Set basic. Follow and protect order to the survivors. There's a nice uh, chain reaction going on there. Hello everybody, Stuart here from Studio Gaming, playing in Quiz Demata again as you can see, um, and I've got a few things that I want to do. So uh, first and foremost, we have a season active, um, as everybody is probably aware, but during this season we also now have a global event. Now this has been on for a few days, um, I think it's been on for six days if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it's going to be ending on the 18th of March. Now, if you're in the UK, the date at the bottom looks a bit funny, but it's done in an American format. So, month, then date, rather than the other way around. Now, as you can see, I have beaten the enemy commanders. Now, the difficulty is trying to get the villains, because only certain villains count, and they are only Space Marine villains. As you can see, under Dispense Justice, it says... Search and eliminate high priority targets belonging to Corn, Word Bearers, Alpha, or Black Legion enemy factions. So if you come across a villain that is a villain psyker, but it's not a Space Marine psyker, it doesn't count. So even if you are actually in a Word Bearers or Alpha Legion or Black Legion mission, you can actually get some what look like Rebel Guard psykers um, in those missions as well. And yeah, as I say, they don't count. So just go after the ones that are definitely Space Marine uh, psychers, um, basically. I think it's usually the psychers that they cast as villains. Okay, right. Now, I have been doing the um, War Zones, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, Cabal Reward as well. What did we get? Absolute rubbish. Okay, now because I've been doing the war zones, I haven't been putting my meme virus on because the amount of experience you get from war zones is pretty much nothing anyway. So there's no point whatsoever in uh, using a meme virus if you can help it. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to carry on doing those war zones because I'm getting to the stage now where I'm almost ready for my level 110. So as you can see, I'm currently at 105 is the next one that I'm getting getting onto. So uh, very, very hopeful. It's um, plus five now. So I'm actually getting some of my um, challenges out of the way as well. So let's get into these missions. I'm probably going to link a few of these war zones together. So you don't just get one mission and it's over. You get a... An amalgamation of a number of them, which I think would be uh, more interesting for you. So. Right, well, I'm not going to get any of the villains on this one, am I? Now, the interesting thing, all of you who are playing on PC will already know this, but for those of uh, us on console, we haven't experienced this wonderful change yet but uh, for the next season um, they are actually increasing the level of random missions so random missions will be going up to I think a hundred um, but your tarot cards will work in a different way so rather than having specific ones which say sets the mission level level to 70 for instance it will actually now say adds plus two or plus three to the mission level so it's a much better way of doing it in my opinion um, you can then choose which ones you want to add which are going to add more to the difficulty level um, just setting it to a specific value kind of means that after a point at least three of the cards are, are kind of worthless um, so once you reach level 100 at least three cards in fact I think it's more than three cards because I think there are duplicates of those uh, mission uh, level specific ones um, and because of that it, it does kind of mean that half of your tarot card collection I suppose is completely useless 
which they've obviously tried to fix and indeed have fixed with the new season so we should be getting that in a few months I would imagine one tank down in fact I don't actually think I'm gonna bother going and killing everything on this because there's just not enough uh, enemies to warrant it and not enough experience to warrant it I should say go. Last one is down. Absolutely hate data hunts. Well that's a lie, I don't actually hate them but I think they definitely need something like the Sentinel Armour to help because on higher difficulties if you're on your own they take an absolute age. I mean, you can do it, but every time an enemy comes, you have to stop uh, hacking and... It just takes a while. Oh, villain. Hopefully that'll add to my uh, villain count. Established. Harvesting data from compromised network. Warning. Dynamic extraction complete. The harvested data is secure. Injecting purge protocols to compromised node. Locate next station. That's why the uh, sentinels are so good. Not because they're really um, powerful, but simply because they um, distract the enemy so the enemy can't get to you. I would actually prefer a healing armor. So with the Klosterheim healing aura, that to me would be much better. Psyche. Wonder how many you actually have to take out because it doesn't give a count.
almost got me. And the panic room, my favourite. Of course I'm being sarcastic. Villains, of course, but bypassing all of the. Oh, I'll take that out. They are really, really starting to uh, smash me. Annoying. Let me walk, thank you. Not supposed to be able to. What? Oh, I killed it. That's. I wondered where I'd gone. Shotguns just keep knocking me back. Really not helpful. Him back up, I think. I think my inoculator needs to be uh, fixed because I don't think it's got the right. Um, Abilities on it. Objective met. Transport the specimen to the marked coordinates for evacuation. sure I take everything out because if I don't take everything out um, I'm going to end up with uh, the VIP getting killed which is one of the biggest problems I always have with these VIP being an idiot and getting themselves killed going to be a huge boss in here, I have no doubt.
bubble around themselves because at the moment they're at risk of getting killed. Thousand hit points. No wonder it's taken me a while. That hundred thousand damage there will help, though. There we go. Didn't think I was going to uh, succeed with that one. Only one life on this one. Death means defeat. But there are two um, villains. need a tweak. Oh Jesus. Not good. We are hitting hard. Definitely hitting hard. I've changed something recently and I can't remember what it is but I'm gonna have to uh, Go back and look at it again, I think, because this is not good. My health is dropping like an absolute ton, and I know I had to uh, change my toughness value, but that shouldn't have affected it as much as it is doing, I wouldn't have thought. So I'll have to have a look at that when I uh, finish this mission, I think. Over the last few missions, it's been uh, definitely getting to me. Oh, look, another villain. Get him as quickly as possible. That's what I wanted to do. And the villain caught him as well with the blast, which uh, means it's a completion. Oh, God for that. Well, this one looks like it's going to be fun, doesn't it? So second to last one by the look of it. And I've got um, physical resist for all enemies. Um, I take 20 HP per second continuous warp damage, which isn't too much of a problem. Enemies reflect 2% of all damage as warp, and enemies reflect 2% of all damage as the attack's damage type. So I'm hurting myself for 4% of every attack damage, and as I'm doing 100,000 in some hits, that's going to kill me in one shot. Um, all enemies are heavily armoured, so yeah, this could break me. Never cease to frighten me. They dispatch an agent of your caliber to rescue some Imperial cannon fodder. Will they get a hero's welcome or end up in an interrogation chamber? Van Winter, out. I mean, it's free the captives, but they're not taking much damage, that's for sure. That heavily armored trait really is coming to its own. I mean, I suppose it's good in one way that I'm not doing as much damage to myself either, but... It's just going to take an absolute age.
save some Imperial meat from the grinder. Get... One of my challenges, luckily or unluckily, is also not to use belt or armor skills, so um I'm going to try and do this without dropping my turrets or using my personal teleporter, which is a nightmare. Personal teleporter would gather all of these guys together, which would make it even better. So I'd love to be able to drop a turret just about here, which would uh, distract the enemy somewhat. is done. Find the evacuation point and I'll handle the rest. chest here as well. Spoils of war as I think they call them. Remarkable. A soul bound war creature protects the chest. Most remarkable. Another deal vanished. Time to reap the reward. Nice. There we go, excellent completed. The survivors have been secured. Interrogate Portarian range. Decoded Vux transmissions and Augur scans indicate high importance and limited combat capabilities. Yeah, Neutralizing this the targets is not nice. Significant long -term benefits. I'm going to have to be very careful with this one because um, Inoculator is completely disabled, so... is never a good thing when you're taking 200% damage. It's a group that I might be able to save. Reconnaissance forces located. Potentially useful assets, but their current situation is terminal. Alternatively, I might get myself required. killed in the process. Reconnaissance force relieved. Set basic. Follow and protect order to the survivors. There's a nice uh, chain reaction going on there. to the next one. The only reason I'm rushing this at the moment is because I really do not want to get killed with no inoculator. Excellent. Death squad's moved away which is useful.
squad's going right back up to the top, so hopefully I'll have got out of the way before he circles back round. Oh, it might be. attack this guy. Oh my god. Oh, that was so close. So, so close. Okay, so another challenge completed. And uh, that looks like it was my last war zone as well, so... Oh, I can redo the same one again, but... That was the last stage. So let's have a look. Yes, 949. So I have completed stage 110 of my war zones. Thank God for that. Right. Oh, let's... Uh, Let's finish there. I'm going to put that back on because I'm going to start doing some more intels for levels. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, please make sure you do click the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and also please click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload next. If you want to support the channel more, please visit my Patreon page. The address is down below. And leave me a comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Well guys, Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it and look forward to seeing you for my next video very soon. You all take care, bye for now.